This is the level, gentlemen. This is a composed salad. Look at this. It's a composed salad of both a tall salad and some other cool stuff going on. It's visual interest. It makes you want to say, guys, I want to try that. And I want to try this. We want to mix it up. That's fun. I'm really happy with what you all did today. I think the mosh greens kind of uh, give it kind of a, a sophisticated look. It doesn't make it look too heavy. I like that a lot. Again, a nice sophisticated salad. Um, both a composed salad, both a tall salad, and some other cool stuff going on there that says, hey, look at me. I want you to eat me, and this is pretty good. Okay, you know, I like that little fennel on top. It's not bad. It's giving you... Well, it's giving you a, a trace, letting you know that I'm, I'm in here, I'm fennel, I'm in there, under bottom. Every bite is something different. The chef has added value both in here, 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 and the cucumber. The knife skills come in, in the section in here, and it looks nice. Everything's poking his head out. So from a perspective of looking at it from right here, 6 o'clock, you have an opportunity to see lots of things that might interest you to be able to try and eat. That's what you want to give your guests. You never want to hide everything. Actually, the vinaigrette's a little, a little tart. A oh, tart? Okay. You can back that off with a little bit more sweetener and balance it. Notice that yin and yang, the sweet and sour. Now, the, okay, when the salt, salt and sugar, perfect yin yang. Sweet and sour, perfect yin yang. The creamy versus crunchy. Creamy versus crunchy, the yin yang, everything perfect, perfect, perfect. Opposites attract. Okay, that's the mandolin. And that's cool. You're going to take these apples and you're going to fan them out like this, right? And then you're going to take the cucumber and you're going to fan those out like this. You're creating a circle. Okay. Those need to be micro thin. Okay. Then your vinaigrette is going to go over to be here and, mar and marinate those. Okay. On this side, we're going to marinate the cucumbers. And then this section right in here, salad greens. You guys got filo dough and all that good stuff? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Yeah, FYI, you're going to want to set yourself a mental timer. Yes. And see, because this is going to be on your exam. You need to be the master of poaching pairs. Okay. So um, you want to take a mental note of how long it's going to take you all to cook that. Okay. Typically it's 45 minutes. Okay. Uh, it seems like each chef varies just a little bit. 45 from the hot, 45 from the hot. Uh, uh, 45 from once you receive, once you get to the poaching temperature. Okay, so it's going to take about 50 So as soon as it comes up, let's just set a clock yep. and monitor it and make okay. notes going okay. forward. And that's going to make notes moving forward. That way we all get to the next level of practicing this. You all have a working draft of exactly how it's going to go. So keep fine tuning. Okay, another issue, we got sanitation issues. What's wrong with this picture? I've got gloves on. Come on over here. What's wrong with this picture? Yeah, I'm grabbing a handle. What am I doing? Cross contamination. Cross contamination. Another, another mistake. What should we do? Change gloves. If, if you're in a major hurry, which you should be. And take off one glove, go for the refrigerator, eat your product, come back, put another glove on. Yes, okay? Sanitation is huge. Could be the case of a failing grade. Yes, sir. Again, if you want, you can feel this in your mise en place before you show up. Yeah. So why don't you do that for tomorrow and the rest of the week? That way you eliminate even having any trash on your station at all. I like how you use it. They say it's a shelf up there. You can also use this in, in here if you want. That's why we're here. We're here to learn. Um, and we're here to, to get some feedback based on our performance and see how well we did. Um, the good work, but there's always something that rears its head up that